Hi, welcome to watch today's Aries Talk. Let's continue the Libra Project conversation and it seems like it will last for a while. And today's discussion will have some updates and some big news as you probably already know. The Bank of China is joining the game. Apparently, the idea of creating a global digital currency is very appealing. And before we dive in, let us take a deep breath. Yes, it is official. The Bank of China is about to launch its digital currency besides the so largest social network, Facebook, which means the two largest countries in the world are doing the same thing. Well, that's just my personal interpretation. Let's begin with the news and update. According to the official at the China's central bank, the institution is nearing the launch of its digital currency. Mu Changchun, Mr. Mu Changchun, the deputy director of the payments union at People's Bank of China said, the researchers have been working hard since last year to complete the systems needed to support the digital yuan offering and its close being out. He said, the central bank started the system development work since 2018. There are some experts predict that if things go well, the Chinese government backed digital currency may come out earlier than the official launch of Libra. The PBOC's original plan might have been influenced by Libra, as many experts believe. It sparked many discussions among Chinese financial regulators, uh, in, which in a way driving the designer to rethink various models which can involve more governmental institutions in the digital currency development and insurance process. Uh, Mr. Wu Changchun also noted that the two-tier system was decided upon in order to increase the public's willingness to use the digital currency and reduce the burden from the central bank to directly transact with the general public. The People's Bank of China decided to adopt a two-tier structure in order to give full play to the resources, talents, and technological advantages of commercial organizations, promote innovation, and compete for excellence. Some analysts believe that the impetus behind China's decision to issue a digital currency is to internationalize the flagging RMB. Adoption of the sovereign cryptocurrency would bring additional benefits as well and increase such as increased speed and lower costs for cross-border transaction. As a replacement for cash, CBDC would fulfill the need for uh, portability and user and use anonymity being maintained through the two-tier operating system. Interbank clearing would be made more efficient with the interbank ledger system. The operating costs with the CBDC would be lower as compared to cash that has a higher cost of insurance, operation, and maintenance. CBDC also, as a digital currency, would make it easier to promote anti-money laundry, thereby in reducing the risk from illicit activities. The PBOC notes that CBDC would work with a smart contract. However, it would not run a smart contract that go beyond basic monetary requirements. Its monetary function determines that if it is loaded with a smart contract that exceeds its monetary function, it will degenerate it into a value ticket, reduce the degree of usability, and internationalize the RM. To some extent, Libra's organizational structure is quite similar as the structure designed by the PBOC for its digital currency and the electronic payment system, uh, also said Mr. Wu. Now let's review the timeline for CBDC and Libra. As you probably know, as early as 2014, the Bank of China set up a special research group on legal digital currency to demonstrate the feasibility of issuing legal digital currency by the central bank. In 2017, the Bank of China officially established the Digital Currency Research Institute in Shenzhen. In September 2018, the central bank's Digital Currency Research Institute set up a blockchain platform for trade finance. Facebook's blockchain app was first introduced in early 2018 when Zuckerberg unveiled his 2018 annual challenge plan revealing for the first time his interest in blockchain and cryptocurrency and wants to use cryptocurrency to empower people. In May 2018, Facebook underwent the biggest internal reconstructing in the history. Notably, after re the restructuring, Facebook set up 
a separate blockchain division led by David Marcus, a Facebook executive on the independent instant messaging app Messenger, and was part of Facebook's new platform and architecture group. Then, on June 18th, Libra's white paper was released. As, as for the Bank of China's digital currency, the white paper has not been issued yet. The disclosure of the information is not much, but from the past central bank's issue reports that indicates that the two institutions have a lot of similarity in the use of digital currency. For example, the core function of the central bank's digital currency, CBDC, and Libra focus are both, are, are both payments. Use blockchain technology as the underlying accounting technology, use a license in the consorting chain, digital currency, non-anonymity, and they both support regulation.